Welcome to my tutorial on how to modify the LG View. My name is Jenny B79 from LGView.com. Uh, this tutorial is specifically for Microsoft Windows XP running home or professional. Uh, and if you have a Windows Vista or a Mac, you can look over in the sidebar and you'll find a link for a tutorial for you guys. Um, so uh, that's for Vista Anna and a Mac. I don't have a Windows 7 tutorial in the plans or in the works yet, but uh, that will be very s soon to come, hopefully. Okay, in the first episode here, I just want to quickly explain uh, that this episode will be in small parts uh, because YouTube does not allow anything over 10 minutes uh, to be uploaded for common users like me. Okay, so... Um, <coughs> Microsoft Windows XP is what you need. And now I'm going to go over some hardware for you. Uh, the hardware that you're going to need is definitely going to be the LG View. On the right here you'll see the LG View CU920 and on the left you'll see the CU915. Uh, the CU915 also uh, has a, a twin called the TU915. The TU915 is a Canadian version of the CU915. Uh, these are both issued by AT&T originally, but can be unlocked to work with other carriers such as T-Mobile, Sprint, and things like that. <clears throat> the difference between the CU915 and the TU and the CU920 is a TV programming. Uh, you'll see the little icon there. It says TV. Uh, that's on the CU920, and there's an antenna that comes uh, pulls out the side. So if you're in America and you have a view and it has a TV programming on it and an antenna, it's the CU920. If it does not, it's the CU915. And if you live in Canada, you have the TU915. <clears throat> okay, next piece of hardware, you're going to need a data cable. And it's very important to make sure that you have a data cable. Uh, there are two types of cables made for the LG View, and one of them is a charging cable, which will do nothing but charge your phone. The other is a data cable that will actually communicate, allow the phone and the, com and the computer to communicate with each other and allow them to transfer information. The next piece of hardware that you're going to need, <coughs> which actually you don't actually need, but... Uh, it is optional, and then that is a micro SD memory card. Okay, so if you don't have a micro SD memory card or you don't ever plan to buy one, you can uh, do everything that you would like to do to your view in the phone's memory, and I'm going to show you how to do both. How to install themes and and, and Quartry keypads and and dial pads and things like that to both the micro SD memory card and the phone's memory. Uh, if you do happen to go the micro SD route, make sure that your micro SD memory card is between 2 gig and 4 gig. Uh, if it is any bigger, the view will reject it uh, as it just can hold so much information that the view cannot process that much information. So uh, nothing bigger than a 4. Uh, nothing smaller than a 2, or it's going to make your uh, themes and things like that choppy or, or could s slow down your phone a little bit and just not worth it. So <clears throat> make sure that you get uh, the two, 2 to 4 gig. Now, let's back up real quick to the data cable. You can find them on eBay for, I'm going to say, $2.50 free shipping. Uh, you can also find them at Amazon.com, fairly cheap, and they're readily available. Just make sure they're for the LG View and they're a data cable. And the micro SD memory card you can get at Walmart or Walgreens or places like that uh, between $10 and $15. Okay, the next piece of hardware that you're going to need is a PC. Uh, as I said in the beginning of this tutorial, the PC uh, needs to be running Microsoft Windows XP home or professional for this specific tutorial if you have Vista links in the sidebar. This is not for a Mac. If you have a Mac, the link will be in the sidebar hopefully soon. Uh, just really quickly, I'd like to go over the software that you're going to need. You're going to need WinRAR. Uh, WinRAR is an unpacking wizard. There are many different <clears throat> types of unpacking wizards out there, such as WinZip or Zip Genius or things like that. Uh, but you will need WinRAR. I prefer WinRAR because, WinRAR because 
when the 30-day uh, trial is expired, you can still use it for basic purposes such as unzipping and zipping folders, and you'll need uh, you'll need to do that as long as you own your view and you plan to change the themes around and things like that. You're going to need EFS, which in the next part of this tutorial, I'm going to show you where to get WinRAR and EFS. I'll uh, show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to install everything and get your view modded. Uh, the view comes with several different types of firmware, um, which basically means the date that they were created, the firmware, the software, and things like that that is on the phone. Um, there is <coughs> one specific version, which is uh, most LG View owners have the V10's December 12th version of the view. If you do have that specific version, you're going to need a program called LG MTP, which is the LG 3G mobile download program. I'm going to show you where to get that and, and how to install that and work with that. If you do not have the um, V10's December 12th version of the LG View and you have something like February or March version, you do not need the 3G mobile download program and you will just simply skip this step, but I'll go along with you and, and tell you when <clears throat> when and what to do and, and all that good stuff. You're also going to need the LG View modem driver, which in the, in the following parts of this tutorial I will show you how to download and install that. And I don't think there's any more. Nope. <clears throat> okay. So there's the hardware. Um, Okay, now let me go over a few things with you. Uh, if you're doing my tutorial and somehow you run into problems, I'm going to show you where you can ask um, questions and get help. I will no longer um, be accepting comments or uh, be answering your questions. I just don't have the time anymore. I'm a veteran on the site now. been there for uh, a year now. and. <clears throat> I just don't really have the time to uh, sit and just help people. Besides YouTube, uh, it, it's just chaos when it comes to uh, responding to people with questions and things like that. But, uh, but we'll go over that in uh, future parts of this tutorial. But, uh, but there are people out there to help you uh, along with this. Um, I've been in this doing tutorials, uh, like I said, for a year for The View. Uh, my first set of tutorials had 20 some thousand views, so it's okay. Alright, so let's move on to the next part and I'll show you how to download and install some of this software.